Uh, I've been, uh, I've had the privilege of being uh, involved and investing in the UK for almost 25 years. So I've had a wonderful experience over these 25 years investing in many different sectors, many different fields. Uh, and it's been uh, quite an experience. I, I would say maybe just to answer your question more specifically, over the last five years, we've been focusing uh, really on uh, sectors that the UK, I think, has immense uh, strengths in. Uh, we've been investing in clean technology, uh, the energy transition as an example. And in that space, for the last 15 years, we've been investing in, in wind power generation in the UK. And it's been a, it's been a great uh, platform for us. I would say today we are probably one of the largest investors uh, of wind generation in the UK. Uh, the um, regulatory environment, I think, is, is excellent. Uh, the returns have been good and uh, the tariff structure has been, uh, I would think, conducive for investment. And that's allowed us over the years to start investing here, but then continue to build up and scale up in terms of our portfolio when it comes to uh, the energy transition space. And that's an area I hope that we will continue to grow and invest in because it's an attractive area here in the UK. Second area I want to talk about is uh, technology. And again, I think just to your point, uh, Chancellor, the UK has so much to give in that area. And I think is, uh, you know, the, the academic uh, aspect from the universities, what's, what's coming out in terms of the early stage venture in the space of technology. We all know, uh, I think, a lot of credit goes on the AI revolution to the United Kingdom. I think uh, DeepMind is a great example. But also companies that are, I think, critical within this uh, technology uh, space, like ARM, have all come out of that uh, academic university uh, system here in the UK and that makes it I think very attractive for investors like ourselves that have been focusing on investing in technology and I think uh, we've done very well we've been you know investors in companies like arm uh, and others and it's been an area that uh, that I think will continue to prosper in the UK as long as the UK gov government continues to support and really focus on and really address the point you you, you, you mentioned which is the early stage to scaling up uh, I think that's an area where there is uh, support needed, and I think if the UK government focuses on that area, I think that'll help investors to be part of that chain, not just from early venture, but all the way to growth, and then hopefully to the mature, mature technology level. So that's the second area. The third area that I'm very excited about, uh, and that we've been investing and spending a lot of time on, is, is life sciences. And, and life sciences, again, the UK has so much to, uh, to give in that area. Uh, we've been uh, quite involved in that space, uh, and it's been, again, very attractive to invest, uh, very conducive, uh, great partnerships, great companies, uh, early, mid, mature, across the board, and, uh, and I hope we can continue to do that. So I think overall, uh, you know, I'm just a, a final, my final comment would be on, uh, on, on digital infrastructure. Uh, that's another area uh, that we've, uh, we've, we've done a lot in, and fiber as an example, and I think it's another space which uh, in the future uh, there's a lot uh, to, uh, to see here in the UK, and we look forward to doing more in, that, in, these, in, these, in these four areas, generally speaking. Um, also, the heritage, believe it or not, it makes the difference. I mean, people like to come to London. Uh, people like to reside in, like, in London, like second homes, second businesses. So our second um, international office after New York is, uh, was in London. Uh, although it's taken us like one year to do the renovation, but it's fine. Uh, I'm not complaining. Um, and uh, the accessibility to the capital markets, as you said, we raised um, uh, so many green funds in here, and we raised the first Centurion Fund uh, by uh, any other organization, which um, uh, makes us uh, really see the value and come in here and uh, having our people in here and getting um, uh, connected with different investments. So we already invested um, uh, many um, in many companies like, you know, Aston Martin, like uh, uh, McLaren, like um, even uh, Newcastle United Football Club, as you may know. Which, which is really one of the smallest uh, investments, but one of the biggest impact, I would say. Um, so uh, these are basically the reasons why people are here um, in the UK. And um, maybe I, I said this before. So you have, um, you have London, and you have the rest of the UK. Now, 
maybe you want to see it equally, or maybe you want to put more weight if you are a financial investor to be only in London. But we want to move beyond that, which is uh, an, an investor in even private um, uh, equities.